Somebody in front of me is needing to hear a very simple but powerful understandance of continuing your highest timeline. Staying on track, if you will, to not fall into chaser energy. Rejection is redirection. Rejection is redirection. There is a difference between a person in your connection being something on a far deeper, deeper level. And you can feel that even if the connection is felt both ways, if they still go ahead and can't focus on the inner work that's keeping them from really being able to dive headfirst into your connection, that that simply means they are not ready. So many people, when they meet a divine or a potential divine, etc., can so badly want it to happen as fast as possible as well and fall into a state of fear that if they don't continue to try, that they're giving up. That is when chasing energy happens because nobody just starts chasing. They don't realize it. There's a difference between that type of connection and then a person that you see is separating themselves for moments. Is separating themselves not even necessarily because they're not wanting to do the work. That they're truly figuring out if they have the ability to add another person to their life. However this is resonating for you. They're both forms of rejection. But the word rejection does not mean this person wanted nothing to do with you and you made it up all in your head. Rejection means that either the lesson was solidified for why that person entered your life, the connection is real, but the human still has a lot of personal work to develop, or your ways simply do not go the same path. There is not that you did something wrong or if you would have done something differently. Because if you're not meant to be with somebody, it's inevitable for the breakup or the separation to happen. When you realize that, you're able to really release things as soon as they no longer serve and not live in a state of fear that every time I trust somebody or open up, they're going to leave. You, you change your full state of mind with it. You learn for each, with each person and life experience to not just open up so, so easily to everybody, but you don't let that itching factor of this all continued to make me understand myself and my abilities and my experiences it's all advanced because of the of the losing and gaining new connections over and over again i'm not saying that the person in front of me is continuing is going to continue to have to always re align or redirect themselves, there is a connection that wants to bleed into your life. That's meant for you. But you have to let go of the value. It's interesting energy. It's a very interesting energy. Somebody here 
has to let go now of somebody they feel still brings so much value into their life and it's actually a nostalgic state of mind with this person. You are loving them for what could have been. You could be loving them for what was, but not what's actually happening. If you can release this and not chase and see no matter, because these are collective things that resonate. If it's somebody that wanted to do the work with you, but they couldn't, they couldn't be able to bring another person into their life. They wanted to work with you, but you could feel internally they, they don't have the ability to give me the stability I am more than deserving of. Or if this was a connection that somebody pushed you away and completely you know, denied what you two had and the chemistry you had built and the time and experiences you had made, went ahead and disregarded all of that to steer you away, however this resonates, press play on your new life by letting them go. They're like this one last anchor to that state of chasing. To when you feel the light turns on. It's very interesting energy. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to explain to you that person that it was not about you could have done anything differently. It was about that your time had served. And to press play on the next part of your life, you had to end and separate from that energy now, the state of chasing, etc. This reading is for you to completely understand why... They're not part of your highest timeline. To understand that they served a purpose. But it would be causing deep friction. To try and hold on to this dynamic. That the sooner you allow yourself to see divine intervention. Is more than could be at play. It is completely at play. For also why this connection can't thrive because this person feels something about your energy would force them to grow and i'm not saying that this is a, a person connected to you is completely immature etc but they would take from what i'm hearing if you if the if the spots were reversed in your dynamic, this person would not know how to handle the rejection that they gave you. They would be so lost. It's an interesting energy. I think this person's reflected on a lot of, of uh, miscommunication or... They've definitely reflected on... That they've gotten the medicine they've given out. I don't think this person actually expects. Expected or expects you. Depending on what part. Of your process you're in with this collective. To not actually give up. Like there's this sense of. Like relief. On your end, knowing that it's time to be done, but uh, like more anxiety being prone on their end now. Because they got what they wanted for you to leave them alone. Leave alone. Remember, don't make these fit. If this is your reading, this means that you and this person had intimate conversations, could have been intimate with each other, had m a long time, at least months of talking or this connection building. This isn't something where it was a unspoken thing between you two. This isn't a dynamic for a reading where you never even had not at least one 
intimate conversation with each other. This is a reading for souls that already met halfway, expressed admiration, and separated. Spirit needs you to know whatever you also need to do next in your life. If this person couldn't have the open heart the way you do, it would have hindered you from having your full energy. Scan to these cards. This person's energy is very dark. There's a difference between Dark Knight of the Soul and then energy sucking in a way. This what I what the download I just received from this reading is this person gave you a couple of cookies and you acted like they gave you the whole batch. There was in the whole span of your dynamic, what I feel is in the beginning, they were the, the sweetest they had ever been to you in the beginning. And then out of nowhere, it switched into very much half effort and a deep sense of making you want to chase. Like they would purposefully close their throat chakra to you and they really liked the attention they got i i can't shake that away it doesn't mean that they weren't actually attracted to you or felt something but this person really liked the attention you gave them this person right now is in a grief mindset they know that you're the type that is willing to go to the battlefield for a person that you're loyal to you're willing to go from home base to the middle of the battle and throw that person over your back and take them to safety, knowing you have a lot of chance to get hurt. That definitely scared them. All I can channel about this person is they really were very good at manipulating others and they really could see that they couldn't with you. You were too positive for them. They could have taken your positivity as red. So what I hear with that is I can't lift this feeling of you must have really hit triggers within their dynamic of it's very interesting. I sense that your person used to be very much in love with love and then they turn into this kind of energy of like relationships are overrated or I've been hurt too many times to actually be with somebody that I feel could bring some form of like deep positivity into my life and then just rip it out of me. So I'm going to be the person that rips it out first. I'm going to be the person that's in control and they knew they couldn't be in control with you because of the amount of positivity you do. It made them feel like you were fake, but they see very clearly now that that's really who you are. There was even a part of them that it, it felt cheesy. It felt like rolling your eyes energy from your positivity, and that's unfortunate for them. It's very unfortunate because you're a deep fighter. And it was really a reflection of their own fear to be positive. I can't, ex I can't express to you how gloomy this person really is. You are no doubts with going away. You are no doubts this is not somebody for you to chase. Spirit wants you to know that even though they rejected to you, in this instance, even though they rejected you,
it was almost like their guides and your guides sending them these signs, the feelings of this person's not for you to protect you because that does happen. When a guide, when guides, when their person, okay, is not doing the work, is not listening to them. They know the best thing for their person is to not feel comfortable using high vibrational people. So when any form of a high vibrational person enters their person's life, they literally make them feel uncomfortable to provoke change and slash or protect that high vibrational being from their person. It is not putting them in a box. It is literally protecting and being for everybody's highest good. The only way their person is going to learn is by reflection. No matter where you are on this part of the journey with this separation, if it's been for a while or if it's just happened, they want you to know this person's already in a nostalgic mindset and actually deeply liked you more, far more than they let off. You are not a perfect person. There was things that could have been done differently, but it was inevitable for you two to end up not being together. There were certain things that would have just pushed it off by saying the right thing in that moment. There would always been another time you didn't say the right thing. Those aren't healthy dynamics. They see all of the pots you nourish. They see all of the ideas you have. Your ability to exert confidence is attractive and scary to them. It really is. With that being said, I do feel an incompletion with your story on their end, meaning there's most likely a ability within them to reach out to you. But I think by the time they reach out to you, you're going to have value in another romantic dynamic. And you're really going to like, not just what you're hearing right now, you're feeling this other romantic person. And even in this moment, it's really hard to see anybody else making you feel the way that this person does. I can tell you, the energy you're in is a false divine. This person you thought was your divine counterpart was a false divine this whole time. False divines are important because they are another person that very much promotes out what you have to do to continue and advance not only as a person but as a soul and actually meet who your divine is and be ready for them. Most of us have at least one person that we thought was our divine counterpart and it turned out not to be. And if you know, it hurt in those moments to realize once you really are with your divine, you fully see why and you are so grateful for why everything happened the way it did. Spirit wants you to know this person thinks that you have to between you have to choose between real world and fantasy with love, either meaning love realistic love means there's always going to be some form of a domination issue or that being your form of love is a fairy tale type of energy. That is their choice to see the world that way. And they have made themselves in a box that the only type of people they'll ever feel comfortable with are individuals that don't give them full love. That is their choice, not you. If they want to believe that fairy tale love is between real world and fantasy, that is their choice. Because fairy tale love is the realistic, the person. It, it's that person you can be your full self with. You know you can trust that they have your back. That they're not going to go behind you. That they love you unconditionally. 
that's not fake love. So allow you to continue to pull on somebody that sees that fantasy love is real. This person also really pulls on the fact that, and, and I can't channel it away. I can't. This person likes to be with people that they feel, and this isn't about you. Listen to this whole thing before you completely download what I'm saying. This person wants to be with people that they feel they are more attractive than. You are an, you are an extremely attractive person. If you are here, if you are in this energy, your inside and out is deeply attractive and beautiful. They were infatuated by that. And I do sense that you had to go through some form of glow up also. There was some pivotal point where they went from seeing you both on like the same level to you excelling. And this is their mind. There's something that you did, changed, upgraded, that they feel brought the scale to you raising up. And their thing is they don't like dating people that they feel are more attractive than them. They can date people that they feel are on the same range or even less because it comes down to a, a self-conscious thing. The fact that they even think that way. The fact that they even care so hard about that. A big change that happened in your dynamic where they were first so loving and commutative and etc. and it turned to something else was when that change happened. You surrender to the truth that the block is for your best outcome. That you've received the full download and you can still love this person from afar. You can still understand that they made a pivotal change in your existence, but you don't want to be with them after really being able to surrender to seeing I'm hanging on to like two weeks. Go, go with me here as an example. It could be this for you or it could be more or less, but example wise. I'm holding on to two weeks of them being sweet and compassionate and caring. And then the whole rest of our dynamic, them not being that way. I'm holding on to two months of them being kind and caring and compassionate. And then for the past two years, I have been blown off or brought back and forth like like ping pong, if you will. However, it resonates. Two days even. Two days it was perfect. And then the rest of this time, I have been clinging on to that one piece of substance and acting like it was so much more and so much longer. You're, I feel you realizing aha moment of like, there are so many times I, I, I wasn't complaining. When they said I was, there were so many times when they said I was being dramatic. When I wasn't. There are so many times I took my self-worth down to excuse their negativity. And yes, that falls on you to allow that to happen. But it says everything about that person that they saw those vulnerable and weak positions you were in and they just let it roll and didn't ever give you full clarity until a certain point. That sense of control a lot of you here feel like you have cracked a code and it's true. It's not that this person had you under a spell. It's not that anybody was out to get your connection. This person's insecurities, their fears and need to be in control outshines the ability to be together. That type of person is always going to try to find somebody they feel 
like they can control to feel safe. You are a free bird, if you will. So you, it doesn't change anything of your connection or your reality that this connection is real, but that the human, that the souls see each other, but the humans in this lifetime do not align in views in the way it's even more than the way you grew up and etc. It's the way you chose to go about the high vibrations and low vibrations that are promised in the human experience. Spirit says don't jump into any new relationship anytime soon, but you can light up your life. You can go ahead and let yourself to get out there. There is somebody else that will not make you feel this way. I want you to take complete comfort in knowing your divine would not make you feel this way. There are ups and downs. There are roller coaster moments. This is not the energy of a divine. This is a snake. This is somebody that's almost in disguise. A false divine. And they had a purpose in your life, but it's done. You, you have surrendered and understand also what parts of you, other than those few moments where they were telling you what you wanted to hear and etc. What other part of you was attracted to them? A big thing was lust. A big thing was, even though they think of themselves as being low on this scale or a medium or, uh, or take how it resonates, not saying that they see themselves as like, they're a very weird mind because at one moment they think they're like the hottest shit in the world and the next they think they're like but ugly. It's unfortunate because what I see is you see them as either drop dead gorgeous or com completely handsome. Take it as it resonates. Like your that that this person was like to a T your type. And that was another deep infatuation. Yes. You felt the soul connection, but a big reason that you continued and continued and continued to believe there was so much value and to hold on to this was a lustful connection as well. When you have that spiritual and lustful connected, that's a, that's that is the melting pot of what can keep you chasing. Because if you just have the spiritual connection, but there's not a 3D world attraction that's deep and enticing like that, you can break off a lot easier and vice versa. If a person is like, you're all about their looks and they're your type or whatever down to a T, but that soul connection isn't there, you can literally let that go even faster than if there is a spiritual connection with no physical attraction. When you have both, those are the people you're going to end up chasing if they're not ready. They need you to understand. And when I say they, it's your guides. You've done nothing wrong. And even though you feel that there is an incomplete story between you two, there's no way this person can run into your highest timeline. Not right now. This person, for a lot of you, because I'm not trying to give anybody false belief to, to, what's the way to put it? Like, I'm not trying to sit here and tell you that there's no way this person can ever be with you and that it's over forever and they're horrible. Like, what I'm trying to tell you is it would take, because we have freedom of will, it would take this person completely changing who they are out of freedom of will and really going into shadow work and being vulnerable as fuck to you to make it to where they could even be in your timeline. I, I mean, they're, these are collective. I'm sure for some of you here, few, this person connected to you with time and separation could do that and realign back into your life. But for a lot of you here, I feel that would be giving a sense. I can't feel anything separate except false. 
you would know if they realigned by them bringing themselves to you in a completely authentic way they never have before, has gone in and done a lot of work. That's how you would know if this person ended up realigning back into your timeline. Any form of chasing, it's a no. This person doesn't have your back even though they love you. I can even go into stating that they love you. They go back and forth from loving you and hating you. And I don't say that to make you think that there's a sense of them like hating you. But it's this sense of like being so mad at how much they love you that they try to deflect it with thinking it's hate. This person would put you through so many loops, so many loops, that's not worth it. Let it go. You've changed the way your brain has downloaded and registered this. It is a file. It is something to put in a filing cabinet and, and, and register it as a part of a chapter, if you will, of your existence. And if you never would have felt this unconditional dying love. And, the, and if you wouldn't have gone to the point you did, you would not know now what it feels like to truly just be like, this is something to let go and it's not giving up. That I, I can do everything right and it not go right. It's time to release this false flame so you can attract in who your divine really is. That's what I got for y'all today. And I'll see you when I see you. Oh, let's go ahead and talk about Twitch. Over on Twitch at Uncle Bronze Official, I give away a tarot reading every single stream. I stream minimum three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 10 30 p.m eastern time and then randomly throughout the rest of the week i will log on and at nighttime perform or play games and then go ahead and give out a free reading all you must simply do to enter is be following me on twitch and then you would be watching the active stream and you would put the keyword of the chat you would put the keyword for the stream in the chat to enter. That is Twitch at Uncle Bronze Official. And I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it. <laughs>